hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be answering some questions that I gather online <laughs> because nobody asked me anything so I just wanted to like ask some questions so I mean gather some questions so you guys can get to know me better and know and know who I am the donde yo soy so the first question I'm gonna answer I would say 10 questions 15 questions let's see how I feel so the first question is where do you grow up so hi I'm Dominican I was born and raised in the art um, um, I came here to America when I went to New York when I was 11 years old so I'm Dominican full in Dominican you can see this platano face all over me so yeah I'm very Dominican where do you currently live well I live in New York the Bronx specifically the Bronx, the boogie down. Um, how tall are you? I'm five point. I'm five point six. Yeah, five point six. Um, uh, where? What year were you born? I was born in nineteen ninety three. Are you in? Are you in? Have you gone to college? Well, I went to college for an associate degree on social work, human resources, and I got my associate degree. When I finished, I decided that it wasn't my major. That it wasn't what I wanted to do. And then also I didn't have my my grades were not that great, so I didn't want to keep going. I wasn't good at school. Like I haven't been good at school. What is your favorite drink? So my favorite drink is a uh, coconut mojito or piña colada. Piña colada was my first alcoholic drink when I turned 21. Uh, tea or coffee? I love coffee. Like. I drink coffee every day. I'm obsessed with coffee. That's my go-to drink. Iced coffee, no hot coffee. It has to be iced coffee. <laughs> I I always say coffee doesn't really do much for me, but I can't stop drinking coffee. And I don't know, like maybe just an added thing. I just don't want to admit it. Who are your favorite YouTubers? So my favorite YouTuber is Remy Ashton or Remy Cruz. I love her so much. I love how successful she is at home. I love how inspiring she is. I love how hard work. She's such a hard working person and I just want to be like her one day maybe. Like I love how how much she had accomplished when it comes to weight loss. I feel like she was one of the reason why I really like really motivated me to keep going and you know see that she was able to do it I wanted her to do it too and every time she she uploads something I'm so excited to see it cuz I don't know she just I like her like she her personality her the way she is she inspired me to want to be like her and to keep going and you know do the work and she got where she is right now and she's very successful and I'm very inspired by her by her um do you speak any language in how well? Well, as you guys can tell, English is not my first language. My second language is Spanish. And I believe that my Spanish is pretty good. Like, it has to be, because otherwise, what? Me voy a quedar muda. I'm not going to be able to speak at all. Like, English is not very, my English is not very good looking. Imagine that my Spanish is bad. Like, I mean, sometimes, don't get me wrong, sometimes when I had to translate, I'm like, what? Like, why are you asking? Like, sometimes when I'm talking to people in Spanish, se me mete el inglés, and it just, it is what it is. Um, are you single or taken? I'm taken. I have a relationship of eight years. We're going to have nine years, and I'm happy. I'm very happy. We actually live together. Uh, what is your, What is your idea of your dream date? Well, for me, my dream date, I mean, for me, just like a day that we can go to the movies, have dinner, and then that will be perfect for me. Like, I don't ask for like extravagant stuff, like just that. What is your go-to hairstyle? This one right here, because I don't know how to do my hair, first of all, and I'm trying to make my hair curly, so I'm trying to stay away from heat, from going to the hair salon and straightening my hair. I love having my straight hair. I feel like I look more better than now. But like I really want to let my hair like ja. Like I've been straining my hair for years. So I'm trying to just get it back to natural to how it's supposed to be. 
how many siblings do you have? Fortunately and unfortunately, <laughs> I'm the only child from my mom's side. Well, I do have siblings from my father's side. I only have one brother that I know of. And yeah, I only have one from my father's side. Well, when it comes to my mom, I'm the only child. <clears throat> What is your go? What is your go-to fast food order? Well, now, right now, I'm in a healthy journey. So, well, when I used to be unhealthy, which was like last week, I was like, "If this, I want it all. I'm gonna eat it all." <laughs> I would say I would have chicken tenders, which French fr French fries, and a, a muffleri, or a sundae. Or if I go to Burger King, I want like a, I like the Hershey pie and their chicken fingers, their chicken finger fries with French fries. That way my go-to meal. Uh, most memorable vacation memory. Well, my dream vacation was to go to Mexico, Cancun specifically. And I did. I went to, to Mexico, Cancun for my birthday. That was like my dream vacation. I did that and I was so excited and we went and we had fun. And then my memorable is the fact that I got engaged on my birthday. So that will always be in my mind, the fact that on my birthday, I went to my drink spa. My boyfriend was very smart. He took my vacation and made it his proposal, but it's fine. I'm gonna let him slide. <laughs> what is the craziest thing you have done? The craziest thing I had done, well, I will say <laughs> the craziest thing I had done is the fact that I, one day I went to City Hall because I had to do something around there. And then I, that day I was feeling myself. I loved the way I looked. It was dark. Everything was like, nobody was around me. And then I saw this random girl and I was like, listen, <laughs> Can you please take me a picture? Like, I was so desperate to the fact that I stabbed somebody. Like, I didn't know. Like, normally I don't do this. Like, I was like, listen, can you please take me a picture? She was so nice and she actually did it. But I think that's something crazy because, I mean, in the YouTube world, I'm pretty sure that's common. But, like, for us, asking random people that we don't know, oh, yo, take me a picture, that was something crazy that I did. But I don't regret it. The picture was kind of cute. Uh, what is your coffee order? Well, well, I only basically I order how normally my go-to coffee shop place is Dunkin' Donuts. So the last drink that I order is this ice macchiato with almond milk and one pump of caramel. Best thing, hands down, like obsessed. Best order ever. I love that so much. Like it's just the coffee that you need to drink. <laughs> Ever moved from home? Where the where to? And how was the experience? So I used to live with my mom, my grandma, my well, my mom and my grandparents and my cousin and my aunt. So I I I would say two years ago I moved to my own apartment with my boyfriend, and the experience was great, and I love the fact that I live by myself now. That this is me my apartment that I make I get to make my decisions and do everything that I want to do yeah it has been awesome great amazing uh what do you do on your free time this record youtube videos when I'm free I do youtube videos or like I watch tv netflix youtube or I read a book I'm trying to get in the habit of reading stop being so into my phone and learn something from books what is your favorite color? My favorite color, I have it on my eye right now, purple. Who is your role model? So my role model is my mom. I would say that she did so good by me. She did her best and she made sure that I always had and always had whatever I needed, even sometimes even more than what I need. I always had more than what I needed. And she always worked so hard to make sure I was always well put that I was always well take care of and I'm blessed I'm very grateful for her because for being a single mom I pretty I think I turned out to be very good like my mom is awesome I do anything and everything for that woman and she I will always inspire 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 to be like her because she's hard working 
and she never did wrong by me. Never. How do you get along with your family? I get well along. I get very along with them. Sometimes way too much because the fact that I don't live with them anymore and sometimes they still need me for shit. Like I move for a reason. Like goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that I'm just exaggerating a little bit but no like I do get I do get along with everybody though I do get along with every every member of my family even with my father I do get along now with him better than before though social media are you added to I'm an addict of Instagram just Instagram because Facebook is just boring I feel like when I don't have nothing to see on Instagram that's when I go to Facebook I think Facebook has turned into a newspaper instead of a social media I feel like nowadays so Facebook is just mainly for the old people to get in contact with the family know about all the bochinche in the, their area or in their countries so yeah I'm added to Instagram um, I'm always there I'm always on my phone checking Instagram constantly, which is a problem. Uh, and yeah, you guys, that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer today. I hope you go. Well, I never, I never say my name. Wow. It's Joelka Miguelina Enriquez Perez. Let me just add my second last name just in case. So yeah, guys, this is all I'm going to answer today. I hope you like this video. And at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and follow so you can see more videos of me. <laughs> I really believe that I'm hungry and I'm acting stupid because I'm hungry or just because I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Bye.